Jesus' command is a, a great commission of sorts. Go. Go away from me. Go do what's already been written. And he treats these men who have leprosy as if they're already healed. They're not. And when they obey in faith, that's when the healing takes place. And wouldn't you know it, Jesus' command for them to go show themselves to the priests just follows verse by verse with the traditional ritual of cleansing that Moses wrote about in the law. Jesus doesn't say to them, look, I know you got your Bible. I know that you read what Moses has said. Forget all that for a minute. Let me do something special for you. Instead, to prove that he's no renegade rabbi, he says, I want you to do what Leviticus has already said for you to do. Leviticus 4, 2 to 4. But, but this instruction is curious to me. Healing power accompanies Jesus' words. But the law said, if you have leprosy, you don't go to the priest yet. You go to the priest when you look up one day and the leprosy's gone. That you present yourself to the priests after there'd already been a change in, in, in your bodily condition, Leviticus 14, 2 to 4. So here's what we know about these priests. Go to these, go to these religious men. They're basically health care consultants in, in, in matters like this. They could either exclude people from the community or they could restore their social statuses but they weren't doctors in any way. They weren't physicians. Now, these men with leprosy are required to act as though doing what Jesus commands will make a difference. What if we did that? What if we just took a little mustard seed faith, we read the will of God in the scriptures, we applied it to our own life, and we began to just act like this might work? Just act like Jesus' word is true. Just do it even if you don't feel it. Even though there's yet no tangible evidence that it will work. That's what Jesus told these men with leprosy to do. And, and here's my question. What do they have to lose? If they start walking to the temple, and even if the temple guard sees them from a distance, recognizes their condition and says, you come no further with his sword, sword drawn, well, what would they have lost? I mean, they got some exercise, right? They got to be under the sunshine. They got to see the people in the community even if they couldn't interact. And now they got to go back to the colony. But even if they don't make it to the priest, what do they lose? And they realize I got nothing to lose. It's worth a try, so they all go. And so it was that as they went, they were cleansed. <laughs> Best thing I read all week. One commentator points out, help meets them in the path of obedience. Isn't that good? How did they get rid of their leprosy? They dared to obey the strange command of an unusual guy. And they got their help as they walked along the road of obeying his word. 